Now then, we're back at the solar diesel system fitting a different charge controller. We've had a bit of a change here, uh, changed these batteries here which were the sealed glass mat type batteries for some forklift batteries and it's the wrong way up we're fitting a 48 volt stecker charge control this will handle I believe up to 40 amps anyway so let's crack on with it it's a grey miserable day unlike yesterday and the day before when it was quite sunny we're getting a very small amount of solar but that's besides the point really we just need to get this in place and get it wired up it's the standard format um, panels there batteries and then if you wanted a regulated output you can have it there but that's DC obviously we won't be using that bit we're just using the charge control side of things and these the, the side covers are missing at the moment I've taken them off because there's the mounting holes and also here are the voltless contacts for switching all sorts of th things including DC heaters for surplus uh, electricity you could even get this to switch your generator on if you wanted to so this is a stecker tarom and uh, in the software you select the voltage so it's not auto sensing but it's 12 24 or 48 volt so let's get this screw to the wall and then we'll come back to you okay the lights not that good for filming but we've got a multimeter there set on DC 200 I've marked these cables but always check at 70 volts DC and the red one is on the red okay so that's correct and then we've got some battery cables here or cables that go to the battery and they're marked red and blue um, but I need to just put a, a fuse in and again check these this should be something like let's do it the wrong way around 50 volts and there's a negative you probably can't see that can we see that just about so if I get these meter probes the wrong way around you'll see a negative which means it's the wrong way round. So we've got red to the cable mark red and black to the cable mark blue and we've got 50 volt, 51 volts and uh, we know the polarity is correct. So always always check and then double check and mark everything or else you'll be in trouble. So we've got these sorted now with these charge controllers the first thing to do is to attach the battery and you attach the battery because then the charge controller is it sort of knows what it is even though this is not an auto sensing and you have to tell it you still want to attach the batteries first now they are fused down there down here so I'll just pull the fuses out and that's battery negative which is that terminal there right this is a, a bit of extra footage that I'm just popping into this video because at this point I got my elbow in the way when I was uh, filming off at the solar diesel site so this is the battery negative positive negative positive we fitted that first and then this is the solar negative positive okay and this is the load 
for, for instance, a um, DC fridge or something like that. Yeah. And if the battery voltage gets low, then that can be switched off. But if you're not going to use this function and you're using an off grid uh, system with a generator, you might want to switch that off in which case you press escape and then it says output settings let's just zoom in a bit and then you would go into output settings and there's load and you go into load and as you can see uh, where are we operation mode and I've got it switched off here they come as standard as on, but you can switch them off. So we go escape. Let me just see that. I've just got that. Yes, I've got that off. You see it's dark there. Escape, escape, escape. La, la, la. There's loads of settings in this. Yeah, it's, um, it's choose the settings that you need. You can't learn them all. Anyway, that's just a little extra bit, and I'll get on with the original footage now. So we're on manual focus. Hopefully it won't jitter about too much. I'm going to connect the battery. Okay. Battery cables. Positive to positive. Negative to negative. Okay, voltage 48, so it will go through this system. I think we can connect the panels. So let's just connect the panels. And we have a manual, so let's just see what it has to say. Initial commissioning. Press escape. There we go. You have to hold that in. Okay, now we can do all sorts of things. Okay, so we're charging at 2.3 amps. Okay, so let's have a look. So we can, you've got to hold and press this for a very short time. Like that long. So, can't remember what output settings are. They, that is for these um, voltless contacts. And you see we can fit an SD card to this etc. So let's go down. System settings, battery settings. Let's just see what it says in system settings. Oh, language, yes, time and date. Don't see that's relevant, but we could set it if we wanted to. Yeah, clear data log. Contrast. Okay, let's escape from that. Let's go to battery settings. Equalization cycle. We'll set this. Let's just see what the on off says. We want it on, yes, escape, cycle, 30 days, that'll do, escape, escape, battery control mo mode, let's see what that says, control mode, state of charge or voltage, well I'm going to go for voltage, Set. Escape. Escape. Battery type. Lead acid battery. Yes. Not a, a gel battery. Escape. Battery capacity. No, I don't think so. That 
that'll do. Escape. Charge voltage. Set. Float charge. Now I've got some notes somewhere for what I've got mine set at, but let's see what this is set at. 50, yeah, that'll be alright, but I think I'll just put that up because these batteries are a little bit old. So we need to press that and then go up a bit. Escape. Boost charging. Threshold for the boost 50.8. I'm going to put that down a bit because I want it to, because these batteries, oh, mind you, now that'll be fine. Escape. Uh, I think I double click then. Oh, start bo boost charge now. Let's just go into charge voltage. Oh yeah, there you go. Equalization charging. Uh, 48.7. I'm going to reduce that a bit. If the if the batteries go below this, then when we start charging next time, it will charge to a higher voltage. That'll be fine. Escape. What else have we got there? That's it. Escape. Expert menu. Let's have a look in there. Now then, in the the manual, it tells you about this as a code. I think it's a standard code unless you want to change it, which is always pretty pointless. But some people just like to do it, and it's um, it's most annoying because then they forget it or it gets moved on and then nobody knows how to get into this and they don't know what they've set it at. I'm just trying to find it now. One seven O three eight. So um, I can't remember. Let's try it. Um, one. There we go. So I press that. Yeah, equalization, equalization charge duration. I'll do. I don't think you'd go above that. So I'm assuming that will be. It will stay at equalization level for 240 minutes. Once it's reached it, boost charge 120 minutes. Escape. Temperature compensation. That means you've got to. There you go, system voltage. 12, tw it's on automatic. Okay, 12, 24, 48. Escape. That'll do. So we want to go escape. Escape. So there we are, it's working. And these just clip back on there like that and the other one the other side so all we need to do really now is um, just tidy these cables up and if we want to we can set the time and date so there you go and there you can see it up there and because this is pulse width modulated 
rather than the old system which would go up to voltage and then switch off uh, until the voltage came down this will just keep a better state of charge and it can be left for quite a duration without any maintenance or anything like that all we need to do is regular battery maintenance check the specific gravity check the electrolyte levels and also check the um, uh, the terminals um, because you can get corrosion and build up and I did a video on that which um, I will probably add as a suggestion at the end of this uh, video hope that's been helpful catch up with you soon